that was left to roll away. The one my mother rode in back in the good old days. Everybody was so happy. The neighbors were so free. Riding in a brand new wagon was something to see. I can see my daddy sitting on the wagon seat. Brother and roll somebody that she looks so nice and neat. Yeah, with children in the wagon. Wagon. The body, it was green. We were just as happy, riding in a limousine. The people, they would gather from over the countryside. Take a look at our wagon, and we'd all take a ride. I can see my daddy sitting on the wagon seat. Mother in her old sunbonnet, and she looked so nice and neat. There were children in the wagon, Grandma and Grandpa too. We'd all go to church on Sunday when the wagon was new. The automobile is here now. Those wagon days are through. Airplanes are flying. And the neighbors are so few Everybody's in a hurry It's money that gets you through But we didn't need much money When the wagon was new I can see my daddy Sitting on the wagon seat Mother and roll some funny And she looks so nice and neat There were children in the wagon Grandma and Grandpa too We'd all go to church on Sunday when the wagon was new. We'd all go to church on Sunday when the wagon was new.
remember about the minute I watched him now for, let's see, 47 years exactly. And I figured out that he's on the downhill slide and picking up steam. It takes him longer to rest up than it did to get tired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, he makes up a lot of jokes though, you know, and he still keeps me well entertained. He made up a new one. He says, you know how you can tell you're really getting old, honey? And I said, well, how's that? He said, you can tell, tell that you're really getting old if your grandkids are out of diapers and you're in them. <laughs> That's true. That's a true joke right there. He made it pretty funny. But I'm glad the grandkids are still in diapers. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's try that. Boy, we haven't done these things in a long time. This is a live rehearsal here. <laughs> All of our shows are live rehearsals. I said, hey, good looking. What you got cooking? How's about cooking something up with me? I said, hey, sweet baby. Don't you think maybe we can buy this brand new recipe? Say a whole lot. She's a humble lady, but uh, she was in the big part of the Grand Ole Opry and Roy Acuff's music. And yes. She was a major recording artist in her time, and uh, just a first-class lady all the way. And uh, she, back when she was playing country music, it was called traditional country music because uh, that other stuff hadn't been made up yet. And, uh, um, but anyhow. Uh, I'd like to go back and do a little song I wrote about keeping the music that Roy Acuff, Webb Pierce, Ritz uh, Foley, and Hank Williams, and all those people. Our, this is a little bit more about mountain music, I guess, closer to, you know, Jimmy Rogers and A.P. Carter and some of them, when they buy those old records, it said, uh, you know, vocal with string accompaniment, you know. But uh, when they changed the, the playlists on radio stations back in the 1970s, they used to have signs on some radio station's wall said, if it has a banjo in it, don't play it. I thought, well, that's a good idea. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Actually, they, uh, Earl Scruggs, when he went to IBMA last time, he left his banjo in his car. Somebody broke in and stole it. Actually, somebody broke in and messed up. Boy, I'm missing everything now. Uh, get myself ready, but anyway, uh, let me try that again, take two. Earl Scruggs left his banjo in, in his car, and somebody broke in, and when he came back, there were two banjos in there. <laughs> that would have been fun. Yeah, it would, it would have been. Uh, the audience that gets the uh, main performance from the rehearsal tonight is going to enjoy this show. Uh, but this is a song I wrote about old time mountain music. Does anybody 
wanna sing my song. I brought them from the mountains, they should be carried on. We could sing the wildwood flower or the maple on the hill. I remember those so well, I know I always will. Had you written on the wall by his cannonball? Had you heard Roy Acuff and that lonesome whistle call? In the 40s and the 50s, that old banjo was the king. His mountain music dying on our phonograph machine. I'd like to hear Mother Maybell sing like she did when mountain music was the king. All around the water tank, waiting for a train. Here's a Jimmy Rogers song I love to sing. Hey, does anybody want to sing my songs? I brought them from the mountains and they should be carried on. We could sing the wildflower or the maple on the hill. I remember those so well, I know I always will. She did when mountain music was the king. All around the water tank, waiting for a train. Here's a Jimmy Rogers song that I love to sing. Hey, does anybody want to sing my songs? I brought them from the mountains and they should be carried on. We could sing the wild flower or the maple on the hill. I remember those so well, I know I always will. I remember those so well, I know I always will. singing some of our guitar pulls and songwriter things over at Jenny's house. So I'll uh, share it with you tonight. And uh, to all of, a lot of you, it was a new song, but I've never uh, played it on stage. But, uh, so I kind of started singing it in some of the get-togethers. And uh, I went back through my stuff, found out it was a song I'd written in 1979. So it's been around a while. Just like a toy that fell to the floor, I'll pick me up again. And like a ball that was thrown away, I'll bounce right back again. As I look into the mirror, I came a little bit unwound, but now I found I'm not gonna let your leaving keep me down. things 
that I see I came a little bit unwound Now I found I'm gonna let your leavings keep me down But I'm not gonna let you leave it. I've been way too long now breathing. Not gonna let you leave it. Keep me down. Jenny said two more. Two more? Well, thank you. And y'all sound wonderful. What do y'all think? Yeah. Maggie and Russ Jeffers. I'm original. Two more original songs. Two, two original songs. Two more original songs. Thank you. So what you're saying is sing the ones you can remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any special ones you want to hear? Yes. Five favorites. Which one? We don't do it very often, but I like that watermelon in three dollar days. <clears throat> I know he doesn't like it as well as I do, but it's a great song. We did it in C. I bought a book Chet Atkins wrote on his life story. It started out with his brother Jim. Jim went on to play in the orchestra up in New York City. Chet went up there too. But in this book, they told a story about the very first uh, job they ever had. And uh, basically, it was the opening of a grocery store in Luttrell, Tennessee, way back in the 1950s, somewhere late 40s. But uh, back then, uh, the band got paid a watermelon and three dollars, and that's uh, that's what they got paid for that grand opening of that grocery store. So, uh, uh, I did it in the old blues style, where you say sing the same thing three times and answer it on the fourth. So here you go. <laughs> Watermelon and three dollar days. Watermelon and three dollar days. I never made a lot of money, but it sure went a long, long way. Hey, they opened up the grocery, they asked my band to play. They opened up the grocery, they asked my band to play. And they gave us three dollars and a watermelon for our pay. You know the watermelon in three dollar days. Watermelon in three dollar days. I never made a lot of money, but it sure went a long, long way. Well, I worked all week. Back when the money was slow I worked all week Back when the money was slow Now I work all week And I wonder where my money go You know it's watermelon And three dollar day Watermelon and three dollar days I never made a lot of money But it's yours Long, long way. Well, I'd work all week, maybe make a dollar or two. I worked all week, maybe make a dollar or two. Once I worked all week for a hole in the bottom of my shoe. <laughs> Back in those watermelon and three dollar days. Well, I bought my first guitar, I kept it up under my bed. Bought my first guitar, I kept it up under my bed. I wish I had my first guitar, but my daddy broke it over my head. <laughs> I 